That's taking me all the way back. That's taking me all the way back. I before studying drama at the University of Ife, I worked in television. I was exposed to broadcasting generally, and uh, that of course included drama. Uh, of course, I did a lot of other things: presentation, production, directing, name it, formalism, which I actually started with. And uh, I did that well with NTA, NTA very good to be specific. Along the line, in fact, before then, I had I had uh, esteemed with Villa Master while I was still in secondary school. That itself is another story. So. And then before that one, I had exposure to stage theater way back in Abeokuta, where I saw the professional traveling theaters uh, do their thing at the Centenary Hall. All thanks to my late grandmother, Uluri Adijoke Balibo, who was wife of the Alaki of Ibaland. Before then, I was exposed to a, a traditional culture, uh, masquerades, uh, dances, uh, drums, uh, fashion, uh, food, uh, greetings, uh, proverbs, uh, the relationship between adults and the young ones. I've listened to uh, tales, moonlight tales. I've gone through all that. All this built up into my decision to study drama, which I did at the University of Ife. After that, my youth call was also in the theater. My one year youth service was in the theater in Quara, where I headed the, the theater group. So coming back, I got back into NTA, and then I did more of drama, entertainment generally. And then I moved out and had a stint with, uh, in advertising. From where, that's Ray Communications. From there, I moved to mainframe productions. Where I, let me say, honed my skills. I worked with a guru, Tunde uh, Kelani, and uh, I did that for years. I was I was doing that for about ten years, and I had the privilege of not just featuring as an actor in our productions. I had the privilege of working behind the scene, behind the camera, and uh, it was it was a total package. And so my, my journey started way back and uh, at uh, mainframe productions we were lucky uh, to not only blaze the trail, we, we churned out a few productions that were, were globally acknowledged, globally, globally acknowledged. I did some other productions outside my friend, and uh, so it's a long trip. Uh, Diamond and the Sky is a is a is, is a, um, a recent experience. It's a recent experience, and um, I'm still in it. Uh, theatre is like my life. I do a few other things, and uh, I love I love acting. I enjoy acting. I, I. It's a way of life for me. I love the fact that um, one is able to impact positively on the people out there. One is able to entertain because there's so much pressure in society. There's so so much pressure in society. So if the, if you are a contributory factor to their moment of realization. So that little smile on their faces, 
to that um, joy that you bring to the family, to that unifying factor within family settings and all that. It gives a good feeling. I feel good about it. In village master, I was a Filaka son. Uh, getting into village master, just as I said, was by accident. But I guess it was part of uh, what fate had, had in, uh, had, uh, what fate had in store. I was just at the National Theatre with the family when I saw them rehearsing. I was a young boy. I was in the third year in secondary school. Uh, I saw them rehearsing. I saw the big names that I've been seeing on TV. Jabadu, uh, Sese Clara, Garuba, uh, just name it. Of course, the little new lady was there. Also, uh, Bayou Awalan, you know, also producers and all that. A lot of these names. And out of my curiosity, I stopped. We were there to, wanted to see something in the main board. And they were rehearsing at the foyer. So I said, uh, but the, the team I went with didn't even know when I stopped to watch. They just went on. So I just went on. I went to them boldly and said, I like what they were doing. Can I be part of this? So the, the, the answer was positive. That was the beginning. Uh, a few times thereafter, of course, uh, there was an alarm when they didn't see me and they started looking for me. Eventually, they found me. Um, a few times after that, I sneaked out of the house to attend rehearsals of the master. I got some strokes of cane from my absence, and, you know. But I remember clearly that the very first day that an episode that I featured in came out as a feel like song. I could still remember that. I could, I could still picture it in my brain now. The very first day the thing came out, and everybody in the on the street, in, the, in our streets, you know, started acknowledging that. Uh, my father felt very proud. He felt very proud. Uh, he forgot the times he had to kill me because of, I, I was absent and all that. He went without me for a while now. So, I never looked back since. So I was acting like a son. I did a few of the series with uh, Blade Master. I did a few. I feel it was a job well done. Be modest here now. Um, that was uh, the film Oleku. And um, it was a production that we threw everything into. Just like the other ones we did. And uh, I think for Oleku we got it right. The combination of um, Akim Mishalab and Trudekelani, of course I had my input into it. I was a general manager of the company then. Uh, we, 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 of course, Pagnebo as the art director. It was a combination of people who were eager to conquer. It was a combination of people who were eager to make an expression. It was a combination of people who, who, who wanted to lift art to a very high pedestal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got it right, very right, with, with the reaction that it got. And um, I played the lead as a journey. And um, <laughs> So many years after, people still refer to me as that. It says something. Mm. It says something. It's one role that I'm very proud of. It's one production that I that I feel very proud about. It's one production that has established, has imprinted my respect for for those I worked with, particularly to the and the late Professor Akin Mishola. Uh, it's, it's, um, that's, that's a label. Mm. That's a label. Mm. It's so difficult to say a particular one is one's favorite. Mm. It's so difficult because uh, 
they were all well acclaimed. Mm. But I think there is something about Eleko. Mm. There is something about uh, uh, Johnny. It's really, as an actor, it, uh, it's, it's, it's giving me a lot of, a lot of lift. It's giving me a lot of, uh, I, I mean, the appreciation in it from, from the people who have seen it uh, and those who are still clamoring, who have heard about it and, you know, eager to see it and all that. It, it makes one feel, feel very good. There's something about it.